Hi everyone, welcome to the Market Outlook. So in today's video, we will be looking at GameStop Corporation. We are on the daily time frame, and currently it's trading about $189 right now. So for GameStop Corporation, based purely on price action alone, we can see that it's consolidating in this triangle, and it's trading within this band. And for triangles, normally it is a higher tendency to break towards the upside. It's a continuation pattern. So if it does break towards this upper trend line a retest and a probability to go to the upside is present so ideally what i'd like to see is a strong break above the 200 level and a consolidation followed by a move to the upside and that will give us a very good risk to reward ratio around this area on the retest so that is for the price action. If I were to highlight where the demand zone is, you can see that currently we are experiencing a mini demand zone. So back then it was retesting in the 9th of September and we are experiencing a second retest. So this demand zone, if it does hold, it will give us a additional support for this continuation pattern to happen to have a higher probability to go to the upside and break upwards. So that is for the demand zone. Currently right now, if we look at the indicators, the EMAs, you can see back then in the EMAs, it was in a bearish position. The 50 day level was above the 21 and the 21 was above the 8 day. So in the middle of August, we see a crossover. So this crossover does show us a very good bullish trend and we are seeing very good consolidation pattern over here with a good bullish EMA fan out right now. So next we look at the indicator is the trader dynamic index. So by now, everyone should know that the Trader Dynamic Index, the yellow line, this is the market sentiment line and recently it has crept up above the 50 level and it is showing that buyers are coming in to push prices higher and this is in the buy zone. So ideally what I'd like to see for the market sentiment line is for it to maintain above the buy zone and slowly creep up. And for the risk point for this Trader Dynamic Index is that we see this RSI, the green line over here. So the green line over here is showing us a very sharp decrease in momentum and it's in the sell zone right now. So ideally, I'd like to see as well go up to the buy zone, cross the market sentiment line showing increased momentum for us to enter into a good risk to reward setup. So that is for the trader dynamic index. I would say it's quite flat since the market sentiment line is in the buy zone and the RSI is in the sell zone. So there's mixed signals on this trader dynamic index showing us that we should sit on our hands and there is no trade setups yet to be taken on GME. So that is it for GME. I think right now it's very clear that we do need to wait for further consolidation to happen. Ideally, what I'd like to see is a strong close above the 200 level, further consolidation, and followed by upside to the $300 level because that is really the only level that is showing us very strong resistance. I think there's a good chance you can reach to this zone. So this zone is about $300 to about $347. So that will be very bullish. However, there's a lot of work that needs to be done for GME to close very strongly above the support zone, above the EMAs, and for the TDI, the Trader Dynamic Index, to be in a very good bullish position. However, I do see that having a high probability of happening. However, there is no trades to be taken. And if you do want to do some value trades buying on the dip, do position size correctly. And if you did enjoy this video, do remember to like and subscribe and trade safe. I'll see you in the next one.